Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Attack unprovoked. While Lahoro makes his way over here. That's gonna be a while. But let's see. Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. So right now we're just training our toughness. <laughs> Every time we get hit, we get a little bit extra toughness. So that's good. Oh no, that's not good. Let's fix F or B. Let's put that in there. Let's toss that on the ground. Then let's put our sword. Oh no, they're fighting those. That's going to be bad for them. Ah. Okay, Laharl. Slowly making your way over there. So Laharl is going to get his strength up rather quickly. 36. And our dodge increased a bunch, our toughness went up by a decent amount, and our martial arts didn't go up at all. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to taking care of us. Hey, we're out. Let's go grab that. Very nice, Laharl, doing your thing. We're just tending to our wounds. Is anybody here still alive? Oh yeah, some of you. Huh? I'm going to pound you. Ah. <laughs> well, they didn't take our food. <laughs> All right, so you. Attack on provoked. Okay, so I want you to give that backpack to Cloud. And, uh, well, you can still only walk really slowly. So, Laharl, you pick up Cloud and then make your way over here. Let's do this. Ah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to sneak again. He's on the way, slowly making his way over there. Should probably get that out of something they can access. We are in our recovery coma. As Laurel makes his way over. And we slowly heal. Nothing is getting worse. It's kind of nice. It's going to take quite a while for us to get a little bit better, though. On the bright side, these guys are all kind of jacked up. So, our... Our friends here should be able to do something. Harl. Deck him unprovoked. <laughs> this is the Harl's um, defense is terrible due to being over encumbered.
Oh, escape servants have joined the fray. That's good. The harrow, what's going on? Why are you critical all of a sudden? their weapons, right? That's ours. So, Cloud, I want you to go pick up Ben. And that's how you fought. I know it. Okay. I hand that back to the Harl. So everyone's batched up again. So let's have us go uh, back over. We might as well just go at our own speeds. I know, is that a bone dog? That could actually be dangerous to us right now. So we're just going to avoid that bone dog. Now let's make our way over to oh, that area over there. <laughs> That's carrying us. The Harl's walking as best he can. Bone speeds. Alright. The heart will come back for you. Cameron's uh, 100%. His the strength is skyrocketing, though. That's, uh, that's good for him. If he was doing martial arts, uh, he would be getting way, way better. Way faster. Let's get it. Okay, jogging on over. And let's go put ourselves in a bed. Not. And now I want you to come uh, pick up Lahara. <laughs> Actually, what I want you to do is I want you to trade with Lahara. So the Harl, you give him that backpack. Ah, there you go. And the Harl, you come over there. And Cloud, and you make your way over here. Walking at, what, two miles per hour? <laughs> Under all that weight? <laughs> Can you splint your injuries? You don't have any splints. Nor do you. I'm the only one with splints. Um, alas. Okay, well at least they have splinting done. Are we... Are we up yet? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go splint your injuries then. Okay, let's splint those injuries and yeah, there's a big melee going on here between the trade ninjas and everyone else. Lara. Everyone come over here. Let's splint those injuries of yours. You move just a little bit faster. Now let's attack the let's attack those starving guys. Okay, very good. And how are they coming along? 
quite nicely. Okay, uh, we, are, we are sort of healing somewhat quickly. Okay, let's go. And once everyone is in place, well, we will begin doing that voodoo that we do. Before we do that, though, we're going to come in here. So we can drop off this bag. No. <laughs> yeah, now let's go rest. Huh. I see. Alright. Well, let's rest up. So, <clears throat> let's go and get everyone together. The boys are back in town, and let's see what we can do. Let's distribute these junk bows. They're all shoddy, so it doesn't really matter. We just want to just swap out our our weapon with a our spring bat with a junk bow as well, so we can all be on equal footing. Then let's. Bring our medicine and food out of our bags, so that perhaps gets used first. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and uh, well, what is the what do the shinobi thieves have? So where is the shinobi thief trader? Oh, there he is, Cloud. Go talk to him. <laughs> Okay, so here's one of these. It's better than what he has right now, so we're going to take it. We will swap those out, and we're going to sell that one outside of the Thieves Guild. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's go. Everyone's just going to run the same speed. Let's everyone get together out here. And then let's run as a group over to the bar. Now after this, we are going to try to go find some starving bandits to fight. A home intruder. My heart. Let's do business. Tell you that. He doesn't have anything that we necessarily want, but uh, we are probably going to need some more food at some point. But let's also go over here and uh, let's have Laharl carry our incredibly heavy bag again. Our super heavy training bag. <laughs> and let's go. So is there anybody out here? Is there anybody out there? Hello. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, so I guess we'll just make our way out here <laughs> as quickly as possible. Oh, who's this? A lone person, probably a tech hunter. A wandering assassin. Works for me. What are those? Hungry bandits. Gotcha. What are those? Garus? Yeah, those are Garus. Alright. So we're making our way out. Making our way downtown. And, uh, well. Isn't a whole lot out here, is there? Now we're looking for the starving bandits because those will allow us <clears throat> to, uh, well, not risk dying <laughs> if the Harlan Cloud take a beating. Well, when they take a beating, there's no if about it, right? And, yeah, should work fine. His strength is skyrocketing, that's good. 
15, 16. His strength experience rate is 25%. Yeah. Does it go up if you're just... Um, if you're not overloaded? What is his martial arts at? What is his effective martial arts at? Is, I guess, what's more important. Eh, who cares? All right, so let's start making our way towards Squin, I guess. We'll keep looking around to see if we can find any bandits to fight. Because those will be fantastic for my for my less skilled people. My amateurs. Wait, did we get slightly faster? No, we're still two miles per hour. Alright, so... What is there, aside from nothing? Okay, so I have a question. If we... Is there like a sweet spot? So his strength XP is 25%. As it gets lower, like maybe 70% or something, is that where it goes up? Is there a 100% somewhere? Is that where you're fighting or something? I have no idea. Don't see any movement anywhere. Don't see any dust, cl dust clouds. All right, what's is that thirteen? That's good. He's working at it. We get there. The guard is like bag check. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like, how are you carrying this? You are the fennec form of a truck. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you like what that one senator thought uh, the internet was. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tools. They use another analogy recently that was utter nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> they're supposed to have people actually explain this stuff to them to the point that they understand them so when they pass bills but uh, that doesn't really happen hello doggo doggo doesn't want to get shot to death that's good <gasps> are these our friends what are they? What are you? They're dust bandits. We don't. We actually don't want to fight those. Because they'll actually cause us bleed damage, and then people will die, and it won't be great. But all right. Laharo, you're at 15 strength. Strength be grant. So the world might be mended. Alright, let's go. All these underwater plants from when this place was formerly flooded. I can only assume. Is that or those are huge cacti or something? Alright. Alright. I'd have died on the holy plains if not for the stone golem. And I'd have taken a hundred oaken dogs with me. But instead I'm stuck here. Hm. You there! Smuggling check. Open your packs. Here you go. You may. This time. Alright. Sounds good, friendo. 
you guys should really just, you know, put on masks so you can walk around when it's all when the dust is blowing and it doesn't bother you. It'd be great. Alright, what's your strength at? 60. Not too bad. Yeah, still walk at two miles an hour. <laughs> well it is what it is. Ah, a customer. You have boots. You go say hello. And, uh, well, you don't have what we want. Alas. You do have these ration packs, though. A thousand money? I don't think about it. I don't think so. A thousand money. We're gonna take one of these and one of those. Thanks, buddy. I'll just very slowly walk out of here. I can just see the muscles on this guy's legs expanding, <laughs> growing, getting bigger. Soon he'll just be able to kick somebody and just like kick a hole through them like Kung Pao into the fist when he punches that hole out of somebody. <laughs> ah, more hungry bandits. Do they have a glorious leader? No. Laharl? You'll fight them. Cloud? I'm gonna have you, bodyguard, a uh, bodyguard, Laharl. Then, we're gonna sneak, we're gonna go passive. The wind. Oh, what are you doing? Bite them. Hurt them. Beat them. Alright, Cloud and, um... Lahara. Go ahead and start fighting them in melee. Show them who's boss. <laughs> We're over there to patch them up again. Yes, Laharl, you've got this. And it's my time. It's now or never. Let's slaughter them. Hello, friend. It's time for you all to die. Unless our chest gets hit too much, then we'll have problems. Oh, we should be able to kill them. Ah. Ah. My chest got hurt too much. Let's heal ourselves. If we stand back up, patch everyone else up. And then let's go hunt those guys down. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, they bled to death. <laughs> so let's go see what you've got. Nothing. What do you have? Nothing of mine? Let's go murderize you. We have to make sure the slavers don't get to them. Die. Die. Do you have any of my stuff? No. Well then, where are your friends? Lots of them are probably bleeding out. <laughs> Yes, you're bleeding out. You're fine. You're getting worse. You're fine. You're getting worse. Worse and worse. So we're going to swap over to doing arranged. Let's go shoot them. Hello, friends. Click, click, bang, bang. These junk bows are junk. Absolute hot garbage. It's almost as the name implies.
Give me my stuff. I'll happily kill you all. And this is how you cheese the game. <laughs> Are we out of arrows? No, we still have some. Look, look at Bang Bang. We shot him down, Bang Bang. We shot him down. Alright, he's bleeding. You're about to go down. You're about... Oh, you're fine. You're gonna have problems real soon, buddy. Real soon. And you guys aren't being accosted by the slavers. That's good. You're not dying or anything either. Just the recovery comments. Works for me. Click, click, bang, bang. Ah! Give me the head again. Jerk. Well, hopefully some of them are going to fall over soon. Oh, yes. We're back up. Yeah. It's time to go cut you to pieces. Die. Die. You got anything? You got any of my stuff? No. You don't. Well, we're gonna go ranged again. Still working on those on those bolts. Hello, friend. Damn it. Goodbye, friend. You got me my stuff. No. Wait. Is this the Among Us? Right. I need to go grab Cloud. Then I can go over there and I'll uh, pick them up as best I can. All right, bar. Cool. Let's go over here. It's going to take them a little bit to uh, get through the rest of those bandits and make their way over to my uh, other guy. When you go upstairs, we're going to put him on a bed. All right, let's go pick up Laharl. Now let's head over here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but we can carry Laharl rel relatively quickly. Oh, hey, thanks, guys. You belong to me now. <laughs> Alright, let's go uh, check these dudes. Oh, thank you. What about you, buddy? What about you? What about... What about you, buddy? Okay, and it doesn't have any of my stuff. That's good! It's like... Alright, I'm gonna put you in this bed now. Off we go. Okay, well, strength is getting up there. Backtrack! There we go. I guess we could use a bed as well. Oh, we go Max. <laughs> he just walks up to us while we're sleeping. We're like, and he's like, open your box. All right. So, everyone that has recovered. So, I was having Cloud to go do a quick little walk around with his backpack, getting his uh, strength up while everyone else healed. 
But it's time for you to hand this back to the Harl. It's better for it to be there, because then it's just outrageously heavy. Instead of him even having a chance of it being uh, not terrible. <laughs> but let's get back out there. Now we probably need to give them some of their food back, right? Okay. Let's hand this to you. That works for me. Alright, let's keep going. And yeah, we are super, super, super mega ultra encumbered. <laughs> we should eventually get our hands on a on a shack or something like that. Someone who can be our beast of burden, if you will. We were also bag checked. What is that? Okay, bone dogs. Oh, they're just eating the corpses. Om nom nom. Good dog. Get rid of those corpses. Alright, let's get put everyone to ranged attacks again. What is that? Staying close to the horror. Oh yeah. You don't need to do that anymore. Well, let's see. We do have three people, so there is something that you can do, which is just really silly. If you can find something that's big enough, you can basically, like, put people on different sides of something so that they'll follow each other and they'll just go around in a circle forever. <laughs> Trading their strength, I guess. As they walk around, their athletics as well. Uh, the only problem is eventually, like one of them will start moving faster than the other one, and they will eventually, like, get close enough to the other side that they'll get close enough on the other side that instead of it being like, instead of it being like this, them going around in a the circle, then instead these two will get just a little bit closer, and then like he'll, like maybe this person will turn around and go back the other way. And then they'll all gather together. But if you have a bunch of people, but if you have everybody moving the same speed, then it should work forever. Just to have them build their strength. All right, so, so Laharl, you're as strong as Fen physically now. It's time to give this to Cloud, so that his strength can get up as well. And we'll have three people who are nice and strong. We might as well take this backpack back to the hub so we can just dump it off somewhere. Because we don't want to sell it, and we don't want to carry it around, and we don't want to just store all that iron. Well, we could store all the iron somewhere. Just so we have effectively infinite, infinite space to walk around with. But, you know, we don't necessarily want to do that right now. We will also need to grab some food at some point. Take care of some dust bandits or some starving bandit leaders so that we can... <gasps> An escaped slave! Get him! Good. We got it. Remorded him. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, strength is among the. Is how fast we actually walk. But strength is among the easier of the skills to. easier of the attributes to level. Uh, so it's because you can just do this, and this can get you to really high strength. Just takes a while. It's just gradually going up. Let's see. Is there any movement out there? I don't think so. Huh? Is 
Let's move it over there. Hungry bandits. Well, oh, and they're coming this way. Hello, gentle people. Do you have any leader? You do have a leader. He has those his shoes on, too. Alright, I want you guys to attack. We're going to get closer until they want to engage. Then I want you to I'll draw your weapons. And let's fight them. Attack all. Then we're actually going to have you flank. And go after their leader specifically. So we can kill him. Ah. Die. Good, we got it. Excellent work, everyone. You did your jobs admirably. Ah. Alright, and we're currently going to be doing a lot of bleed damage to them. They're going to bleed out. You're going to bleed out eventually. You're fine. Might bleed out. Will bleed out. Fine. Oh, Laharl. Joining the fight, are we? Well then, let's do this. No one can stand against us. Okay, very nice. So the Harl, I want you to pick up Cloud. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna find that leader. Where is your glorious leader? I see his shoes right there. Go grab them. Let's take them. Over here. Cool. Let's take these, put them on cloud. Now he runs faster. Goody. Now, we might as well go well, I mean, it costs us money. So we might as well just jog our way back to the hub. Alright, let's go, you slow pokes. Alright, so our melee defense might have gone up. Our decks probably went up. Your toughness went up. Your toughness is okay. Your melee defense went up some. That's good. So yeah, just a little bit. Little, little baby steps. Baby steps and I'm getting better. Before you know it, they'll be slaughtering starving bandits like they're nothing. Alright, let's go. To the Shinlogi Thieves. So that we can rest and relax. Alright, so you put him in there, you get in there, and then you go ahead and get in here. Very nice. Who's the most injured? You are the most injured. Your chest is at negative four. Alright, so we know who to watch. Alright. Okay, so, we're all healed now. Let's get up and do our thing. What time is it? Late. I like that. Still have a little bit of food? You still have a little bit of food. We are going to need... to... get our 
I need to go steal some more food, I think. Yeah, precision shooting. So, the easy way to do that <clears throat> is uh, I send Fen up there to stack while the other two guys are doing something else. Probably training in some way. So, what is your lock picking? Yeah. It's going to have you use that one. What is your lock picking? You do that. And Fen! I want you to go up here to stack. We're going to go make some... We're going to go steal some food. It's going to be delicious. Off we go. <laughs> He's running so fast, his body is literally phasing in and out of existence. <laughs> and we're here. Good. Now the question is, do they know who we are? I think we're gonna have to well first let's see if we can get in. Because if we can say get over here, then we can then we're good. Do they recognize us? No. At least they didn't yet. Which is fantastic. Where are you going, Fen? Okay. Go in here, close the door, and let's get sneaky bleaky. Sneaky bleaky. Now where's the farm? Where's the where's the uh bakery? Over there. So that's nice. We can just sneak over there. And can we close the door on the outhouse? <laughs> Let's take a dump all day. Take a dump for the next three hours, two hours. All right, we're just going to wait around for it to turn night so we can sneak in. And it's time for us to go steal some food. So we want to make our way in the shadows. Over here. Avoiding as many guards as we can. Okay, that's a guard over there. We can we want to avoid him. It's a guard over here, so let's slip around. There's the front gates. Luckily he's he's facing the wrong way. And now it's easy street. Why is your door still open? It's 1 a.m. Are you like a are you a 24 hour shop? Okay, well he's asleep over there. He doesn't have any Oh he does have a guard. A paladin. We could smack him, but uh, that could be dangerous for us. So, we just want to see if there's a bread basket around here somewhere. Probably is. Usually is. I mean, I, I guess there, there normally would be, I guess. Maybe he just has it in like, I don't know, everywhere else. Let's see. <clears throat> let's loot this. Let's loot this. That's fuel. We don't care about that. Small barrel. Ooh, we'll steal that. Take those. Oh no, they caught us stealing. Whatever shall we do? Loot. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> They caught us, guys. Oh no. Cooked veggies. I'll steal them. 
I'll steal those two. Alright, dried fish, we'll take it. Can we select dried fish? Come on, steal it. Take it. Really? Why can't you? Why can't you take that? There we go. Where's all the rum gone? Now that Peladine is probably coming out here pretty soon. Now yeah, maybe he's locked up there. <laughs> maybe he can't leave. Ooh, yay. And that would be kind of funny. Bro means. What a joke. Bread. Ooh, yes, we'll take the bread. That is actually what we came here for, after all. Let's go over here. Steal that. Oh, yes. Still KO this guy. You know, he doesn't have a whole lot there. Good sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Now let's sleep. So we, you know, took all his food. <laughs> He's a baker. He'll get it back. Don't worry about it. You're at the machine shop. So you probably stay open 24-7, I assume. Let's just take a peek in. No, you're asleep, so let's go bonk him. Bonk! And who else is out here? There's you. We have a decent chance of bonking you. But we can also just go pick all your locks. Alright, this is payday. You can pick safes. And, okay, there's a blueprint. Not worth much. 100% chance to steal it, though. So why not? Alright. What's in here? Not really anything I care about. What about this? Okay, well, you know, those. Not the worst. Take your money. Not. Okay, anything over here that I want? Not really. What about in here? Well, those. No, a splint kit. Wait, where are you going? No, no, you get back on this. Give it to me. Yeah. Sweet. And how long are you going to be out? No, yeah, for a lot longer. Let's go see what he's got on him. Oh, I see. Let's steal his pants. Throw them on the ground. <laughs> just disrobe him. He's just lying there, sleeping, and then suddenly, no pants. <laughs> he wakes up. I wasn't going commando yet. 
What is this? It's a temple. Oh, great Ogren. Oh no, that's uh, a holy sentinel. Let's get away from him being able to see us. That holy sentinel douchebag. Get out of here. Other people still in here? Let's see, large basket. Let's go in here and see what we can steal from the church. Oh. <gasps> we got caught stealing. Oh no. The Book of Sacrifice. What's in here? Nothing. Pearl, pearl sword holder. Why not? The priest is going to be like, get back here! No one steals from the church and gets away with it. Better the priest Tom. For all the for the good of all I must report Brother Fergus. His wife has taken over him and made him her puppet. He is wasting away his money, money that should be spent acquiring weapons and armor for the next campaign on his uh He is wasting away his money, money that should be spent acquiring weapons and armor for the next campaign. On his wife's vanity. He must be corrected and his wife either flogged till the shadow is purged or banished from our lands. You. Yeah. Well, New, you're a dick. <laughs> holy Edict. A holy edict from Holy Lord Phoenix, whatever that is, himself. Our father, Okran's kingdom, is plagued by debauchery and lust. The foreign women not only walk unleashed, but they pilgrimage, but they pillage our resources. Gold, silver, iron, these are not things meant to be worn to display one's vanity. They are meant for tools, tools through which we install order in the world. Any woman seen wearing jewelry and without a guardian will be flogged until she repents. Oh, you guys are just wonderful people, aren't you? That's right. All women have to be nuns. All of them. Pearl urn. Well, huh. we'll steal those. Those sell for a nice bit. The crusade. All right. Let's take that. Oh, we have a dried fish. Now, let's go upstairs. There's probably a priest sleeping up here somewhere. I don't see him, though. Where is that priest? Holy purpose. Does the priest live in another castle? <laughs> Let's see. Let's go downstairs again. Okay, yeah, nothing. I mean, uh, there's this over here. Maybe there's something in that. Oh, maybe. I'll steal those for sure. Steal that. We can sell that. Let's rearrange. Yeah, that'll work. What's this? Letter from Bad Teeth. Holy Nation letter addressed to the High Inquisitor. Today we recovered the bare corpse of Holy Paladin Orson, hung from the Lord hung from the Lord Okran statue in Bad Teeth, northern entrance. Deep, etched deep into his belly were the words, The end is near, Flotsam. For now I have sent a squadron to search Okran's pride for any signs of camp. But I would request a formal investigation from the Holy Lord Phoenix himself, blessed be his name. The Darkened Temptrest. The Darkened Temptresses cannot be left to commit such sacrilege, 
and corrupt our women any longer. We cannot afford to lose more children bearers from our region. Paladin Tez Terza. A human tooth, possibly edible. What is this, the forest where you can just knock out teeth and then, like, upgrade your weapons with them? How do you even get a human to, do, like, I, I've killed plenty of people, and we haven't gotten, we haven't got teeth out of them. It's not worth anything. It doesn't weigh anything. Eh. All right, so I think that's everything of value over here. I guess we'll go look over here. It's probably just going to be rocks. Oh, thank you. We truly are the sneakiest boys. Can we steal from the bar? We walk in, there's like a hundred people there. They all pull out their swords. <laughs> all right. Bud, what are you doing? Let's have you get back to work on that. And then I'm going to have you move over there. Let's fight and dreamers our way out of here. Later, losers. <laughs> Didn't even see us. We just literally ran past them. We ran within feet of them, and they're just like, hmm, I don't see anything. Maybe if I correct my helmet. <laughs> it's so dark out. He shifts his helmet to where he can't, where his eyes are both covered, and he's like, I can see better. Amazing. Yeah, the encumbrance penalty. So, okay. We will get there sooner or later as these two people train. So that they too can fight and dreamers their way out of places. Alright, so we came in the... What I'm assuming is the front end. Let's run over here so we can sell some stuff. Let's make sure we don't um, try to attack him. Because that, while hilarious, would be very bad for us. Okay, let's sell those sword holders. Well, the research books. We don't necessarily need to sell those just yet. We have plenty of food. We don't need the research books right now. We can get them in plenty later on. So, I guess we'll sell that as well. Alright. Now let's go hang out with our buddies. We... Sprint our way over there. <laughs> so how's the training coming along, guys? Everything good? All right, yeah, that's how the assassination works. You gotta hit him right in the back of the skull, where it's sort of coming down a little bit. So you get right up there. Cause a lot of trauma to the brain. Then they fall over unconscious. Yeah, man, just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so just, you know, with the, you want to get the hammer just up enough, and, all right, let's do this. <laughs> let's see, how are you on strength? Well, you're ready for it to be grant. Hmm. Let's see, is there anything else you can get from him, Cloud? Anything else at all? Eh, not that we're really worried about. We'll probably eventually have Yi's and Odachi, but not right now. Just so we can diversify who does, like, big AoEs and who is 